Hello, I'm Attila G. Horvat. Welcome to the YouTube channel of the AutoCAD Architecture Blog.com. In the previous video, I presented you how to create the construction drawing and insert XREF. And in this video, I'll present you how to create walls. Now you can create the ground floor external walls. As earlier learned, please make a right click on the palette title bar and from the drop up menu select the design palette group. And please choose the walls palette. Now please check in the drawing area if the column grid is on the full screen and zoom in on it as much as the drawing area size allows it. The simplest way is to click double with the middle button of the mouse. At the same time you have to check if the OSNAP and the ortho toggles are turned on in the status bar. You have to check also at the lower right corner of the drawing area, in the label before the cut plane, if the medium detail is active. If it is not, please click on the displayed configuration and turn on the medium detail in the drop-up menu. Now please make a left click on the tool palettes of the CMU190 wall type to start creating such a wall type. You can see that the parameters of being drawn walls are displayed on the properties palette docked at the right side and at the lower command window and by the cursor, program prompts to specify the start point of the first wall. Before selecting the start point, please check on the properties palette that the white parameter is 190 mm, fixed parameter. The base height parameter value is 3000 mm and the justify parameter is set to baseline. Please note that the intersection of the column grid will be used. If it is not succeeded to select the intersection, you can call out the object snap list by using shift and right click during the command and you can select the intersection from it. If the parameters are correct, please draw the external walls by using the intersections of the column grid. First, draw the walls of the main building. You can use the intersection of A and one grid lines as the start point. To the wall endpoints you can use the intersection of A and two grid lines. For second wall you can use the intersection of E and the two grid lines. For third wall, please use the intersection of E and one grid lines. Now let's see how to create the fourth wall by using the close option. The last wall segment is made by close option, which means the program will automatically close the wholly drawn wall chain. Here you can use the novelty of AutoCAD 2013, where options became selectable in command line, so you can click on the close option in command line. If it would not be successful to draw the four walls in a hole, then you can restart the command to draw the wall, for example by pressing enter, and from the last right endpoint, please continue to draw the walls. In this case, do not use the close option, 
because the last wall segment will be closed to the start of the newly created wall chain. In the following, you can draw the passage connecting two divisions. Select one of the drawn walls and then select the Add Selected option from the Ribbon Contextual Wall tab. This command allows you to place completely the same properties element from which you started. Please specify the intersection of C and two grid lines as the start points and the intersection of C and three grid lines as endpoints. Then just finish wall drawing with right click or by pressing enter. After drawing the wall, the original selected wall remains selected until selection is discarded with escape. So please make a right click and the add selected command will be also there and you can select it. The start points of the new wall will be the intersection of D and 3 grid lines. The end points will be the intersection of D and 2 grid lines. And then finally you can close the drawing wall by pressing enter. You can save the drawing with the save icon. In the next series I show you how to modify the walls. If you like this tutorial, make sure you subscribe for more. If you would like to create the whole project of a two-story house with sheets and annotations, please buy the ebook which guides you step by step.